I'm on my way to Southwold this morning, which is in Suffolk. It's about two and a half hours drive from where I live. There's an image there that I've got in my mind, and I did try to capture it before when I was there, but I never quite managed to do it. So I'm back there this morning. Uh, it's about five o'clock. The image is like, there's a lighthouse feature at Southwold, and as you go along the beach, there's long grass growing out of the dunes, and I want to try and capture an image with the grass moving and the lighthouse in the background. Um, the lighthouse should be lit from the right today, so I'm on my way there. I'll turn the camera back on when I get there. So as you can see, we're at Southwold. Um, it's a nice sunny morning. Uh, the original image I envisaged was obviously with the sun coming in from the right hand side, the lighthouse in the background, and the, the grass moving about with the wind. So I could use a long exposure to give it a sort of misty effect. But as you can see now, there's no wind. But what there is, is a nice play of light on the mounds of grass as you look towards the lighthouse. So I'm going to take the image and I'll give you a look on the back of the camera. I'll just give you a quick rundown of how I've set the camera up to take this image. I've got a um, 1.4 teleconverter, the 100 to 200 GFA lens. Then I've got a Lee polarizer on and a six stop Lee stopper, not big stopper or semi big stopper as the case may be. And that's just given me enough when the wind does move the um, grass it does give it a little bit of a blur but I'll give you a look at the back of the camera so looking at the back of the camera the lights just too strong you can't see anything so I'm just going to give you a view as I see it from the camera the composition so as you see you've got the lighthouse in the far background and then there's a row of beach houses running off to the right hand side and below that the grass now the grass is moving a little bit there's a little bit of wind and that's helped by the fact that I've got a Lee polarizer on together with a six stop stopper. So it's giving me a shutter speed of around 13 seconds with an f-stop at 25. It's a fairly high f-stop and that's because I'm using a long lens and a teleconverter. So I might go for a square image but I'll show you now. So this is the this is the second image and this is a bit of a pano, a 16 by 9. Um, as you can see, lighthouse to the left, pier to the right, but unfortunately there is no movement in the grass at all now. The wind has completely died away. So even with a 10 second exposure, which I've got at the moment, with the polarizer and the six stop uh, neutral grad on it, nothing. So 
probably time to go now. I can't see the wind's going to sort of pick up. The sun's fairly high as well. So, But I'll show you the back of the camera anyway. So I've managed to get the iPhone looking at the back of the camera. You can still see reflections, but in this harsh light, there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, but this is a Pano 16 by 9 f29, 10 seconds. And as you can see, I'm trying to get the, the lighthouse in on the left-hand side and the extent of the pier on the right. Uh, the grass is still moving a little bit.